Hello, world. Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access using the Northwind database. Now, we've already talked about how the database is created, how to find it, rename it, move it. We've also talked about how to trust the database. So those annoying dialog boxes about trusting and enabling content can be avoided. Now I'm going to focus on some startup options because immediately when I start this Northwind database, this login form appears, and I'd like to know how that happened. Now, if I click this X, I'm going to be closing all of access, so I don't want to do that. It's forcing me to go ahead and click the login button. I'm going to click the login button, and then that directs me to another form, the main menu form. I'm going to go ahead and close that one with this little X and try and figure out how did that happen? How did that login form automatically open? And here's form login, FRM login. In this version of Northwind, they're prefixing all their objects with three little letter prefixes. The so forms are FRM, subforms are SFRM, reports are RPT, macros MAC, and modules MOD. Queries, I think, also have a QRY prefix. He here, we're trying to investigate and get under the hood of this to figure out how this login form automatically opens when we open the Northwind database. If you're curious about something that's happening to the database as a whole, I go into File, Options, where all of the default options for how the application works are stored. And all of these features are interesting, and I encourage you to go through each of these different menu options slowly and carefully so you can see what features are available to you. And for the most part, you don't want to change these. For the most part, the default features are the best features. But under current database, my first guess was that that login form was listed right here under display form. With this option, I can choose any form in the database to be the one that automatically opens when the database is opened. But because none was listed here, that login form is opening in some other way. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the access options dialog box and look at my second guess. My second guess is that the auto exec macro, which automatically executes when the database is open, is driving this login form. I'm going to right click it and get into design view. And yes, I immediately have an open form action, but it's opening the FRM hidden. And if I'm just curious, I'm going to go into FRM hidden and double click it and see what that is. And that's really just a form with one big text box that's giving me some information. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. The second statement is saying, if the current project is not not trusted, open FRM startup. Okay, well, let's see what FRM startup looks like. Uh, welcome to the Northwind Traders sample database. In order to use this, click enable content on the message bar. Well, we didn't see that because our current project, our current database is trusted. So that's not the action I'm looking for. Here's one that says, if the current project is trusted, then run some code. Run a function called startup. We still haven't really dug down into how form login starts when the database is open, but we know this code is running because the current database is trusted. So let's find this function name startup and see what it does. And functions are stored in VBA modules. I'm going to look down here, and I'm guessing that this mod startup if I right click and go into design view there, I'm going to find a startup function. And I'm looking at some of these function names. I'm not seeing anything that says startup yet. Oh, so here we go. Function startup. And with some of these comments, we can kind of see a little bit what's going on, even if we can't read the VBA statements. So here we're showing the welcome form. Here we're getting the user's Windows login. And here we're trying to figure out if the employee is already in the user's table. So we had to dig pretty deep to figure out how that form login is opening by going through the startup options and seeing that there's no opening display form, and then digging into the auto exec macro, which led us to this startup function that's stored in this module. When we open up that mod startup module in design view, I did find the function called startup. And we even see a command here that seems to open the form login. We had to dig pretty deep to figure out how form login is opened when the database is opened. So 
So figuring out how things work in the Northwind Traders database is kind of like being a detective, but it's fun because once you understand how something works, you can reverse engineer it and apply it to your own database. In the next YouTube, we're going to look at this FRM main menu because eventually, once you are welcomed and log in, you get to this main menu form and it's quite interesting as well. Thank you.